Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Software Inc. here for our new playthrough for 2023, uh, episode number three. So, in the first two episodes, we've done very well. We got two products out Zippy Archive, uh, which currently has 217,000 active users, and we got Speedy Pro, which has got 84,000. So, things are looking good. It's a little bit buggy. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get that sorted. So we got four million in the bank, and I think we're already ready to start building our own building. And that's kind of what I want to do today. Exactly what I want to do today, in fact. So we probably won't see much happening in terms of development and stuff. Uh, as you can see here, that we are smashing through these bugs. Look at this. I didn't even finish all the queues for the day. That is uh, crazy. Okay. Four million in the bank. Also, if we're going to not my accounting, my insurance and investments, I've got a nice chunk of change sitting in here. I put three million in the bank. Uh, okay, so that's good. I'm quite happy with where we're at. Just go through today. We'll see what money comes in. There you go, another million. Uh, but everyone wants their pay rises. It's the end of the year. Uh, that is just normal. And I'm going to start setting up some better bonuses for my employees with the benefit system. Because uh, at the moment, they're currently getting nothing. Uh, we're now in a stage where I actually want to start developing. I want to start thinking about hardware. I want to start thinking about gaming. I want to start... I have so many big ideas for this. Um, it's crazy. So what we're going to do then, we're going to move the company. And I'm going to go into an empty plot. And normally, I like sitting out in the rural towns and stuff. But this time, I'm going to go... I'm thinking maybe city. Because I don't normally do the city. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. We, I want this to be a pretty big business. Okay, so traffic density is high, beauty is low, uh, background noise is high, utilities cost. It makes your internet and utilities lower being in the city. You pay more for being out, but uh, it looks nicer, if you know what I mean. Okay, and, and the plots are a bit different in the city. They're very grid-like. Um, okay, so climate temperate. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy just to have a bit of both. We'll put heating and uh, cooling in. So, okay, let's move on. Alrighty, we're here in the city. We got uh, some nice big buildings around us. This is the plot we own. Very small plot. If we go into the building tabs and we go into the plots, everything is purchasable. So I don't have any panics there. It might be a case. Maybe we'll have like a headquarters. Maybe we'll do something for like phone development. Uh, you know, one for gaming consoles. I don't know. We could do anything. World is our oyster. So we only own this very small plot. And that's fine, but I think we might as well buy for a quarter of a million. We'll get this all brought up. And I'm thinking even maybe this side. Uh, what do they want? 600,000. I'm going to buy that as well. Now, this is a little bit bigger. I can't buy the one that has buildings in already. Okay, that's fine. And we've got the car park here. At 400,000. I'm going to buy that. And I'm going to leave that as parking for now. Uh, that That's okay. So already a huge investment in the city. We've spent a big amount of money, but we need to focus on building. That's where we start. Why don't I own this one little strip? How weird is that? If we come out of the plot zone, that is, that is definitely a bit funky. I've never seen that before. All right, so how am I going to build this? I'm not sure yet. So I'm thinking of having a main headquarters. So maybe some sort of small hardware going on here and then this will be a huge hardware factory now the only thing i do like about the towns and cities is that i can bridge them across and stuff i don't know is this going to be uh possible no because i don't own these roads in the city obviously okay so yeah that, that's not going to be particularly helpful is it all right so let's go into the main building how are we going to construct this i've not decided yet um Try and play with even numbers where possible. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Now that will put that building. So four. Is that five at that angle, is it? Three, four. Okay, so that's a 5 by 4 angle. Now, a lot of people like to speed build. I am not going to do that. And we're going to build gradually as well. I'm not just going to build my whole software empire. I'm going to get uh, the basics going. And then once we uh, have more rooms, uh, once I need more people, I'm going to separate it completely. Uh, I do have a plan. Okay, so going down then. 10. We might as well take up quite a bit of this. 15. 
Uh, I suppose 16 is a nice even number. As long as I can get the 4x5 thing going on here. 5x4, sorry. Okay. So already that doesn't match. One, two, three, four. But we put it out one. There we go. That's better. Maybe 12 is the main size there. And then one, two, three, four. Five by four, right? Should be correct. Then it was 16. Let's just make sure. 16. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. So, I don't actually want to leave that there. So what I want to do is use the curve tool because I don't like the... Well, the pyramid shape is actually fine, in all honesty, but I think it'd be quite nice to maybe curve it out if we can get a nice curve on it. There we go. We should do because we've got nice, even numbers. And the reason why I say a nice, even curve because once you start building upstairs, it does get a little bit funky. I mean, it looks pretty even, right? Pretty even we'll go with. Uh, so we're going to have the main doors, of course. Yeah, actually, you know what we could do here very firstly is build that with the brick. So it's all bricked around, make my life a little bit easier. So I want to obviously put the nice two glass doors. Uh, what did we do across here again now? Was it 12? So two, four, six. Is that the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I suppose that is the sixth one, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's a pretty big building, actually. Um, and I, I plan to go multiple floors up as well. But maybe what we might do is go a little bit skinnier each time. So it's like a really cool pyramid. I don't know. I'm not the best at designing things. I just kind of go with uh, my gut and just build whatever. I, I, I don't worry about it too much. Okay, so I do like uh, having the windows at the front. Most of my buildings. Only because, like, you know, this is the reception area. You want people to see in. It looks nice. I think that would be alright for the minute. That'd be alright for the minute. Okay, so let's go inside then. Right, how am I going to do the first part? If I build that straight across, we can make this into a big reception kind of area. I think that'd be fine. And then we want to put in a couple of lifts. Now, we'll try and put them in a good spot. I suppose if we put them in there, we'll have to put them behind the wall, going down. Okay, you'll see what I'm doing in a second. Because it does waste a little bit of space, unfortunately. So I will have to delete this wall. And then what we will have to do is come in behind the elevators. Like so. What the hell happened to my elevator? The face in the wrong way, maybe. Uh, so that will take us up the different floors. We will need stairs as well, so I need to keep them in mind. And we'll do something down the back here. So we will turn that into a full reception area. I think that's more than possible. Um, also, we're going to need some sort of doored areas as well. So what we could do then is put some more glass doors going through. Reception desk will be here. We'll try and make it look all nice. And um, we'll get our tool back. So this will have to be a corridor, if we like it or not. And then what we will probably do is corridor it down. Oh, hang on. Wrong tool. Now, what I should have done is make that lined up with the main door. That was terrible of me.
Something like that. That means I can delete that little bit here now. Now it's quite boxy, and, and that's okay, I think. To start with, we got the two elevators going up. We do, because of the fire, we will need stairs. We, we don't get a choice on this fact. So I'm trying to think, what am I going to put downstairs? Uh, we could put like a meeting rooms. Alright, I'm going to hash that off as one room for the minute. Like I said, we're going to keep it fairly uh, simple build. Now, one of these rears, we will need to make, um, like, stairs. All right, what do we want here, then? These are left-hand stairs. We do actually have some different ones available. And we can't put stairs in until we go upstairs and build the next floor. And this is why I said it's quite important that we get this right. I think we went with 16, didn't we? See, it's already not matching. Two, three, four. Okay, that'll give us the curve that we want. Then it was 16 down. By 12. So yeah, even though I don't actually mind the different shape on top, we could put some lights or something. We could curve the rear, maybe. But yeah, maybe we can leave the front being a little bit different. Like I said, we could put maybe some lights. It could be possible. We'll, we'll, we'll play with this in a second. Okay, so we'll make that into clearly what we need it to be. Uh, our lifts then, they should pop up either side. So we'll get two of these bad boys in. And that also means I can go back downstairs now and we can add them stairs. I don't know what I want. Maybe these kind of metal ones are quite nice. Um... Okay. And that now will open up the stairs upstairs. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need some doors. Because that is going... This You need the stairs for the fire safety. The fire safety people will come out and assess our situation. So uh, we'll get some doors getting put in. Um, oh, wow, that... That was miles off. Okay, something like this for now. Maybe we'll make this into bathroom slash shower room. We could probably split it into uh, two rooms. We could maybe make it a small kind of server room, and, uh, maybe. Do those stairs go downstairs as well? No, they don't. So we'd have to put another flight going up. Because the basement is a good place to put all the servers, to be honest with you. Okay. Where are we at? Where are we at? It's all kind of looking alright, I think. Okay. So, we need to separate the rooms um, on the upstairs. Now, we'll probably have to go for quite a similar shape. And that doesn't matter because in real life it's probably what would happen a bit more anyways. Make the corridor a bit bigger up here though. So in here maybe... Uh, yeah, hang on. How am I going to do this? That'd be a corridor. Maybe I can make that like a staff lunch canteen kind of place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so... Bloody odd number. But if I put three windows like that. So I make this maybe their kind of canteen area for now. Um, I do like a bit of... Uh, make it look a bit symmetrical. Okay. 
Okay, it's okay for the minute. Um, all right, so let's carry on going then. We can make this room a little bit smaller. So that room... Rooms have to be one unit apart. What? Okay, not, not sure what was going on there. So we have uh, the stairs. If people want to take the stairs, we've got the elevators. They're not the biggest elevators we can get, but they're a big one. How many people does it take? During fires is disabled. It takes 20. How much should the big ones take? 40. Well, we're not going to have that many employees anyways to get to get us going. So... Is it kind of sad that I want this to maybe be my office? Now I'm not, I've changed my, my mind, maybe on the next floor we'll give them a staff lunchroom. We can still make kind of like staff lunchrooms maybe either side, but I'm thinking that might need to be my office. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then upstairs we can have different kind of rooms going on here. Uh, something like this. Again, just keeping it fairly simple for the moment. And remember, I can actually put in a third room up here if I wish, because that make a lot of sense. Okay, so if this is going to be my room, that'll do for now. I, I do like open plan doors, offices and stuff. I think, uh, I think it's a good way to work. Put a door going in down there as well. Okay, so they got the doors to my office. We'll make this some sort of kind of canteen, meeting rooms, something. We'll work it out. Again, we've already spent quite a bit of money and we've not really put anything in yet. So, yeah, it, this does get expensive. Um, right, so thinking about it then, one office, two office. Oh, wow, these offices are a little bit out, aren't they? This is why a lot of people fast build, because, you know, if you speed run it, don't do no talking, you know, I can change and edit. Like, I'm just building on the fly. I don't even know how I want things to go. Okay, so at the moment, how it works with the heating is that the air conditioning and heating needs to be on the roof. So what I will probably do is turn this room into that kind of boiler room, actually. So thinking about this now, I'm going to change these double doors uh, to these ones, because it's more of a service room. Uh, trying to think downstairs. Downstairs, ooh, you don't have any doors. I'm thinking maybe we're going to make that our security office. Right. So, even though I want to do hardware and stuff in production, even though I bought land, we're not going to be doing that just yet. Uh, so, having this is a very good basic setup for us, I think. This is quite large. Now, hopefully I can do it some justice. So we're going to go down. We can look at these modular receptions. Why do they have screens? I've never seen that before. I'm going to have a look at what shapes we got, because like I said, I've not built the modular one before. What the bloody hell are these parts, eh? That is weird. I kind of want the daytime to fast forward a bit because it is a little dark. Okay, these are the ones that are going to go on that one better, are they? Okay, so we can have a big reception. I suppose we can even make it go down. I mean, it doesn't match though. Nothing is going to match the front of that. You know what? Let's get rid of that. I think that reception will do us absolutely fine. Uh, they don't really need anything, but what you can do is put a PC on here anyways for them. Oh no, the reception is stand. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say get rid of everything. Okay, that looks alright, that looks alright. Let's keep moving then. So, reception, what do I actually need? See, our company logo, unfortunately, I didn't pick the logo when we started. I wonder, can I change that?
All right, okay, inside A Technologies as you come in the door, of course. We get a clock put up there. Okay, let's think about this. What are these? These couches are quite cool. But how do I want to... Uh... So basically people will use these to sit on while they're waiting. I do plan to use a lot of my resources into helping other companies as well. Uh, we could definitely put more in. We'll be looking at that in a minute. Ooh, the executive reception. Would that look nicer there, I wonder? Or would it look odd now? Hey, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. I think we'll keep that. Okay, glass side tables. We'll put a couple of them in. There we go. Then what we can do is put like these little flowers on top. And you know what? Look, we can put some apples down below. Okay, let's delete that. So what happened there? Fortunately, the flowers went down below. There we go. Flowers on top. Apples down below. There we go. That would make people feel quite nicely. Um, I'm not going to go hugely into detail here either. Like, I, I do want to obviously do some details, but um, I want to build on this as well. What are these? Cubico ceiling lights. Well, they look kind of cool, don't they? They look a bit different. How would I do these lighting? They only take up one block. I put three between them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, another one in there, I suppose. One, two, three. So we've got the four there. We'll get another one in there. They're not actually producing much light. That's the only thing I would say. But they look kind of cool. Look a bit modern. Okay, look, light is uh, getting there. One, two, three. That makes it go there as well, doesn't it? No, no, it doesn't. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. All right, there's some light. Okay, what else can we put in here in this kind of short term? We definitely probably could do more seeding than just the two. It means they can kind of sit down wherever they want. Couple more glass tables. A few more flowers on them. And again, I'll put some more of those apples down or something. Do we, is there any apples I've got? It just helps boost the mood. Okay, so that could be kind of a good starting point here, isn't it? Now, this is any problem with the curves. Might be a bit weird having them there. Okay, we want some sort of artwork in here. I actually thought that was going to be bigger than it is.
Can I change my company logo? There must be a way to change that, right? Because that logo looks terrible. Company, how do I... Must be a way. Must be. <laughs> because that is... I forgot at the beginning, because the logos is a new update, I absolutely, completely forgot. Looks alright, doesn't it? Now, the only thing is, how would I make that go down? Okay. We'd have to do it via that. Oh, God. I don't want to bulldoze the structure. I just want to get rid of the furniture. Okay, so even though we do have... We will make you work somehow. We'll put it to the doors. Now the reception room I will put a bit of effort in because we won't go back to it probably. I'm just trying to work out how the hell am I going to work this one out. Okay. What the hell is going to fill that little... Yeah, I've got to work out how the hell am I going to do this. It's like I don't have all the pieces. I'll come back to that little bit in a minute. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, we're half an hour in. I've got the first room kind of built. I want to put a little bit more decoration. How about we finish the reception? And then we'll go from there, really. There you go. 
move that up a little bit. Uh, you know, we've got to have the world famous tree portrait, don't we? What could I put over here? Now I do have some of these kind of like Nintendos and Game Boy posters things. What are you, Dr. Mario? Big company logos. Couple of small bins, maybe. What else could I throw around here? Apart from heating and cooling, I know. Uh, so what I'm going to do for them is add these, but I can't add these until we've added the main pumps, which I will do at the end. So all the heating and cooling in the rooms will be done last. You know, it's kind of simplistic, but it works. I think it works. I just don't know what to do with this one little patch. I mean, the only thing I can do really is it face one way and just look a bit odd. But I suppose if both sides do it, it doesn't look so bad. Because, I, uh, yeah, I, I generally can't think of how to fix that. There might be a way. Maybe my brain's just not telling me how to do it. Okay, so on these modular desks, I should be able to put some things down in here as well. Look, So, like, you know, you can have some flowers and whatever. I'm going to actually move these up to the top. Uh, I do actually have a smaller little flower I can put up there. That looks quite nice. Uh, there should be, I think it might be under office. We should have some other bits and pieces that we can use. Um, I'm looking for like files and stuff. There is some somewhere. Where are you? Here we go. There we go. Some files. That's a cutting board. That's the kitchen stuff. I don't really want to put books down. We can have some tissue boxes. So they all just give little, little moods, bonuses, you know. But it just makes things look just a little bit nicer. Apart from, actually, I don't want that one there. I'd rather have two of the same. I think they actually look nicer than the little ones. There we go. I'm going to leave that reception as is. So inside AGA uh, Technologies is uh, looking good. Reception room has been built. I know it's taken a whole video, but, you know, we've got the foundations. Putting offices together is pretty simple after this. Again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. This won't change too much, probably, hence why I'm okay with leaving it like this. And um, actually, I just want to look at the designs. This is probably where I find what I'm looking for, right? I mean, that's the closest it's going to be, right? I don't know, it looks kind of terrible. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I am a little bit disappointed. It, it might be a case maybe we... we change this i don't know i don't know we'll work it out um but yeah overall quite happy we can put some uh, more lighting in actually now that we're in the office i forgot that we have these kind of uh, cubicle lights i do quite like them so there's plenty of lights there can be more windows that you can go in here as well uh we got the ups whoa 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 whoa, whoa. everyone's going to come to work here now i don't want that yet so yeah look the main building itself is getting built slowly but surely we'll make it look nice um we got my beautiful office that's all i really care about to be honest uh let me know in the comments down below do you want to see some more of this i know it's a bit of a slow progress the way i'm doing it do you want me to speed run the office buildings let me know in the comments down below and we'll look at that subscribe if you're new hit that like button and on that thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next one bye for now